Could you just give me a rough outline of the kind of work that you are doing in Africa? Well, um, in my department, we are doing two types of things. One of them is to provide financing to energy projects on the continent, both public and private energy projects. And we use the different types of instruments of the bank, which are divided depending on the category of countries. Then also we help uh, operationalize climate uh, operations in various sectors by mobilizing both bank resources and concessional climate finance resources. I mean, could you explain perhaps the mechanism by which a country receives a loan from the African Development Bank? Uh, what are the terms and conditions? How does it work in their favor? Well, I guess, and in your favor? Well, uh, what we look at is to uh, provide differentiated terms depending on the category of country. So fragile state, vulnerable countries and uh, can have access to grant. It depends on the characteristics of the country. Uh, low income countries, uh, most of them are loan, but these loans are concessional through the African Development Fund. It means that uh, almost 75% grant element on an NPV, a net present value term. And then middle income countries have access to more commercially priced loans, but still they benefit from the terms and conditions based on our strong AAA rated balance sheet. So we pass through the benefit of that uh, because we are not looking to maximize profit, but rather we're looking to help maximize the developmental impact. I mean, we tend to often talk in very um, theoretical terms, very general terms uh, about the mechanisms, about the loans, about the way these, thi these, these things work. But could you give me one example, perhaps something that you've worked on that brings this to life, that uh, we can see the benefits, uh, the direct benefits to people on the ground in Africa? Yes, absolutely. For instance, in Kenya, uh, our board approved recently um, $150 million equivalent of highly concessional financing to develop uh, an extraordinary national re uh, natural resource they have, which is the geothermal energy, which comes from the under um, under the earth, the, the heat, and converting it into electricity. This is both reliable, constant energy, affordable, it's well priced, but also um, uh, clean uh, with no uh, emissions. And in order to do so, the bank will finance the riskiest part of the project cycle, which is the drilling, where you need to prove the source. And this project, when it's fully developed into electricity, will generate enough electricity for the needs of 500,000 households in Kenya and 300,000 uh, small businesses. And finally, a question we ask pretty much everybody. You're here in uh, Rio de Janeiro for the, the, uh, the Rio Plus 20 summit. What would you like to see at the end of this summit? What kind of agreements, resolutions, progress would you like to see? I think I would like to see a global call for real action with concrete um, commitments on the table from everybody to work together uh, to preserve the planet. The global warming is happening, climate change is happening. There is a sense of urgency that needs to develop among everybody because these are indeed long-term actions, but unless we start them now, it will become irreversible.